Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, reviewing a knife sharpness tester. This week, I'll be talking about the Edge On Up PT50 Best Test Sharpness Tester. Now, that's kind of a mouthful, so I'm gonna pull that apart and explain what I'm talking about as I go. Bottom line, though, this tool right here is a tool for measuring how sharp your knives and other cutting instruments are. If there is one thing that knife users tend to struggle with, it's sharpening. There is a blizzard of information about techniques and tools and sharpening out there, and there are a lot of fairly subjective ways of testing how sharp something is. You can shave hair, you can cut paper, you can slice overripe tomatoes, you can look at the edge with an electron microscope, you name it. But wouldn't it be nice to have an objective, repeatable method of testing how sharp your knife is? I mean, otherwise, let's face it, you're just telling yourself a story about how sharp something is. Well, now there's a way. This little device right here, the Edge On Up PT50 Sharpness Tester, instead of guessing, it allows you to actually know. Quick note before we go any further, as with most of my reviews, I don't take any payment for doing my reviews, but this little tester was provided to me as a review copy by my boys at Pops Knife Supply. So take that for whatever it's worth. If you want one for yourself, I'll provide a link to it in the description. First, the testing device itself. For all intents and purposes, it's a highly modified scale, kind of like you'd use for weighing mail. In simple terms, it measures the number of grams of force required to cut a piece of certified test media. Edge On Up's website describes the certified test media as 0.23 millimeter in diameter and composed of humidity and temperature resistant coated polymer plastics, quote unquote. Kind of looks like good old nylon fishing line. BESS stands for Brubaker Edge Sharpness Scale. Mike Brubaker owns Edge On Up, but whatever. As long as you're using a consistent test media, consistently and firmly attached to a fixture that's properly located on the scale, and consistently applied, the thing should give you a consistent measurement of sharpness. Like I said, it's a pretty clever, pretty simple idea. More details to follow, but basically here's how it works. You stretch the fishing line, uh, test media, across this little anvil or test fixture. You tighten it down. You zero the scale, you put the knife over here on this little fulcrum, you push slowly but firmly down until the fishing line, <coughs> excuse me, the test media, gets chopped in half. The scale registers the force required, and that's your score. More force, higher number, more dullerness. Less force, lower number, more sharper. Edge On Up has a little chart in their documentation that gives a list of what the scores roughly indicate in terms of real-world sharpness. Quick plug here, if you enjoyed this review or the knife builds tips and tricks I've been giving you for free on YouTube for 15 years, uh, there's a way you can give back and help the channel. It's called Patreon. As an incentive for your support, you get access to plans for most of the builds that I've made over the years, all the dimensions, the specs, all of that stuff. I won't say it's every build, every tool, every knife I ever made, but anybody who helps out the channel on Patreon gets access to the full library of plans and designs that I've got, and it's a lot of them. So help me help you. Patreon.com slash Walter Sorrels. Link in the cards and descriptions. Okay, back to it. So, a little more detail on the tester. At the making of this video, there are three different models of the testers. There's the PT50A, the B, and the C. Somewhat confusingly, at least to me, the C is the sort of cheaper entry-level model, and the A is sort of the Cadillac. The PT50B contains the tester, the fixture, and some test media. So the PT50A also contains a system for using these little disposable test clips, which already have the fishing line clamped in. Much easier to use, though you need to read the Edge On Up documentation about them because they don't have exactly the same results as the ones you get with the fixture. Also, you gotta buy the test clips when they run out. But that said, way easier to use. 
In addition, the PT50A measures in 1 gram increments versus 5 gram increments on the PT50B. To me, 5 grams probably exceeds the range of error that most users will be able to produce on this thing. So, who cares? But the choice is there for you. The PT50B runs a little over 105 US and the PT50A about 100 bucks more. Like I said, you can buy these from knife suppliers like Pop Supply, but there are plenty of other places you can get them. So the fixture works like this. The test media is contained in the bottom of the fixture in this little spool. You feed it up through this little hole in the fixture, clamp it down with the first thumb screw, then pull it taut around the second thumb screw and tighten that down. Then you place the whole fixture on the scale. This magnetic rocker or fulcrum or rest or whatever you want to call it moves around and has a magnet on it so that you can position it firmly and optimally for your particular blade. Tear the machine, that's scale speak for zeroing. Put the tip here, test away. The disposable clip setup works like this. Got a base here, you slip these little prefab test clips in. Unlike with the fixture, the test media is already stretched and clamped down. Otherwise, test procedure exactly the same. So what tests did I do? Well, I tested the PT-50 on a variety of blades, sharpening them using a variety of methods, and comparing the results with my own experience and with other less objective tests like shaving hair and cutting paper. The results were consistent with those other tests and showed that most of the techniques of sharpening that I use yielded pretty much the same results that I figured they did. Okay, so the big question, does this thing work? And the short answer is yes. This will give you a fairly repeatable method of testing how sharp your blades are. Now, my guess is that as you refine your technique, those results are gonna become more accurate and therefore more repeatable. There are a few little tricks to using it, but they're not all that hard. Now, that leads to the second question, which is just how accurate is it? Well, full disclosure, I did not perform hundreds of tests on multitudes of scrupulously prepared test blades. I didn't calculate the mean, the mode, the median, the standard deviation of the results. So. Honestly, I'm just giving you a fairly soft focus answer on this. Once I'd refined my technique, I was able to get about a 20 point variation among samples of three. Some caveats to that in a second. Whether this would be sufficiently accurate for you, that's for you to judge. Now, I'm sure you could get it tighter eventually, but that's about where it lay for me. I will say though, this kind of presumes that a knife has been pretty carefully sharpened so that the sharpness doesn't vary much along the length of the knife. I tested a bunch of knives straight out of my kitchen that hadn't been sharpened recently and found that the variation in sharpness between one spot and another, even spots super close together, was so great that you didn't even get vaguely repeatable numbers. It's not really a flaw in the tester, and I'm not even sure that it matters since who cares what a dull knife registers, but still something to be aware of. The consistency of the test is dependent on taking the test at exactly the same place on your knife, unless it's absolutely perfectly the same from one end to the other. So, who is this for? Anybody who likes sharp stuff, basically. Professional knife sharpers will obviously benefit from it, so will knife makers, so will, you know, pro chefs. But beyond the obvious candidates, if you collect knives, if you use knives routinely, uh, you know, whether it's in the field, you're butchering, you're skinning, you're cooking, I mean, this is a really cool device for anybody who's in those realms. Knife nerds, basically. Now, one last note, I was gonna do a whole list of uh, different applications you can use the tester for, but what I realized as I was thinking about it, though, is that a lot of the things that you can do with this tester are kind of wrapped up with ideas and philosophies about sharpening. So today is not the day for philosophizing, we're just trying to find out if this machine works, and it does. So I'm gonna save that for another video. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com.
digging the channel you can support our video making efforts on patreon you know i've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years so i hope you'll show some love for all that hard work link in the cards and descriptions finally if you're interested in making japanese swords check out my full line of japanese sword videos where i show how to forge japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings handles and scabbards walter sorrels blades dot com.